business. So hi everyone, good evening from Ghana, Kumasi, Ghana. My name is Ahmed Duncan. I am a corporate trainer, business coach, and founder of the Fabulous Woman Network. I am the hostess of Mind Your Business, and currently I am live on two places, on Facebook. So if I'm looking at you now, it means you're watching on Facebook and then on Instagram as well. Our Facebook page and Instagram pages are The Fabulous Woman Network. So thank you to all those joining live and then for those who watch the replay too. Thank you very, very much for always joining me and not making me feel alone here. So hi watching on Instagram. So today's topic, today's topic of mind your business is why you need an accountability partner. This is something I talk about all the time, why you need an accountability, or at least I mention accountability partners a lot um, for those who are my friends or we follow each other on Facebook uh, or Instagram. You've heard me talk about this, hopefully. So before I go into it though, please let me know. I want to know who is watching. I can't see the comments. I see a few people have joined already. I would like to know please who is watching, who you are and where you are watching from. So please let me know in the comments who is watching and where you're watching from. Comments delay a bit, so let me use this opportunity to tell you about Mind Your Business. Oh, by the way, I will put this video on YouTube as well, so it's possible you may be watching this on YouTube sometime, sometime, sometime. So Mind Your Business is a show I started in August, August um, last year, um, to talk about business, basically. I feel that especially as new women in business, we should just focus on doing our thing, you know, making sure we are running our businesses as it should be. And especially when tough times come, there is nothing like, oh, life is tough, so stop your business. I mean, you still got to go. A girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. So... I created this show where we can talk about business, especially for us new women in business. I do know that some of the people who join are not women, that is fine, or perhaps you're not even new in um, business, or you're not even interested in business, but you like to join. I'm very happy to always see um, different people watching and giving me feedback. Some people watch very, very silently. Hi, Rich Love. Rich Love. <laughs> No, I'm not just saying about you, but if you would like us to, and guess what I had for today? I eat um, your asabia shito almost every day of my life because I eat jollof kanzo every day. Hi, Catherine. Thank you for joining us on Instagram. So please let me know, apart from Rich Love, who else is watching? Or do I have my silent people watching? <laughs> people who will never let me know that they watch me. It's fine. It's all good. So um, today we are talking about accountability partners for the next um, 40 or 39 minutes left. And um, before we start, or before I start, since I'm the one doing all the jab, 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 I'd love to, I'd love to see you comment as well. Hey, Sita. Sita is watching from Accra. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sita. So um, I want to ask you, please, whether you're watching live or you're going to be watching the replay. Um, we are, today is what, 12th um, February. Hey, January. <laughs> I'm running away with the dates. Okay, relax, relax. Today is 12th January. So we are 12 days into January. I'd like to know from you, how are you doing with your goals? I will tell you mine, actually. With regards to my financial goals, I have achieved 10% of it. Now, I know it sounds like small, and I know it's small, but I am happy that I'm making progress. I am happy that I'm not sitting making excuses as to why it's not possible, I can't do X, Y, Z. 
and each and every day I'm doing the best I can, whether I feel like it or not. You know, this book, The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield, is probably one of the best things that happened to me last year. Get it if you if you don't have it already. Hi, Nanajwa Shekaina. Thank you for joining. I hope all is well and the weather is not too cold. So please, I asked, how is it going with your January goals? I didn't even ask about 2020, um, 2021. I didn't ask about the quarter. I'm just asking about your January goals. You know, how is it going for you? Um, so I'm going to patiently wait for you to respond. And as I'm waiting, I'll go on with the show because I haven't got a lot of time and I know you are all so busy. Can you believe a spider just fell onto my laptop? Hey, this is wonderful. Rich Love is asking, what's the name of the book? The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. It's, it's such a how to say it kind of book let me see if i can get the link to post it briefly you can get it off um amazon either um amazon kendall those of us who prefer kendall you can get it off um audio books the audible or the paperback i'm trying to bring up the link oh paul Achu. God bless this gentleman. He and another gentleman, they always share my posts. As soon as they see my post, they share it. And thank you. Thank you to all of you. Some of you may be sharing and I may not even see. But thank you. Thank you always for helping me promote the work that I do. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Oh, this link is not coming so that I can show it to people. Hi, Bredia. What's a name? Wow. Beautiful name. Thank you for joining. Okay, so Rich Love, I will... Johanna, yes. Johanna, I think we read this book, right? We read it together. I, my, um, I think I'm stressing my internet out, you know. Being on Instagram and Facebook is stressful, so... Rich Love, hopefully I can share the link with you later, okay? So today's topic is accountability. Yes, and definitely one of the books that has held me accountable. I mean, held me accountable, helped me be accountable is definitely The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. Like, I think everybody should read that book. Okay, I've got it here. I'll share the link. Everybody should read The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. I did um, a review of it and then I shared it to my blog, amadankan.com forward slash blog. Okay, I've just shared it. So today we are talking about accountability partners and I wanted to just say this, that there are two experiences that I've had in this, my life, my very short life, I happen to be 22 years or maybe 16 years, whichever works is fine. <laughs> two books I have read that have, um, no, not two books, sorry. Two experiences I've had that have really blessed me and shaken me and humbled me and uh, totally turned my life around. Being a mother and being an entrepreneur. You know, for being a mother, I kind of knew it was coming. And I think that being a Ghanaian girl as a child, you're kind of prepared for these things. So somewhere along the line, you know, you get married, you have kids. So I was sort of prepared, but nothing prepared me for being an entrepreneur. I never, ever thought that I would leave corporate. All my life, I thought I was going to be this corporate girl wearing my high heels and my beautiful dress and you know briefcase bag i never thought i'll be an entrepreneur but it's the, the experience has really humbled me it has made me it has changed me i know and it's also opened my eyes i think it keeps giving me wisdom so my gray hair is not just wisdom from aging but also wisdom from being an entrepreneur <laughs> and i think that there is no way i could have 
survived the past six years. It's actually six going on seven since I became an entrepreneur. And then almost six years since I quit my job to focus on my full-time business. There are some key things that have really helped and I want to talk about them. I mean, I'm going to land on accountability partnerships, but I will just say that even before that, there's always been books, right? Thank God that I discovered Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which I talk about a lot through my daughter. She was then six years old. So this was eight years ago, actually, that I, wow, time flies, Jesus. <laughs> anyway, so eight years ago, I read, I discovered that book that helped me start reading again through my daughter. And I'm so grateful because it opened my eyes to so many things that I wasn't aware of before until I started reading again. I've always been also been blessed by mentors along this journey. People that um, some of them have remotely blessed me through either their books, their podcasts, their videos, um, trainings. I have taking so many courses on entrepreneurship, like it was only a matter of time that I would start teaching it because I had so much material way before I even started having experiences. Um, but the things that have really, really, really helped me up close, I will say are my mastermind groups, accountability partners and coaches. These three key people, because the first um, three things I mentioned or the first two things I mentioned um, the books and the mentors, they are great. They give you all this knowledge and um, wisdom and information. But usually there is no one for books. There is no one to help you like when you are stuck. So that's for the books. For mentors, they are great. I mean, one of the, the first time I ever made a six-figure um, revenue of any sort, whether CD, dollar, whatever, was because um, one of my mentors... I was just having a conversation with him, my husband and I, and then he said something that really woke me up and I did what he said and I made good money. The first time I made good money as a person in business. Yeah, so I appreciate that. However, it is not his responsibility to hold my hand along the journey of entrepreneurship. He is my mentor. He comes into my life once in a while, gives me advice, and then he goes on. He doesn't have any responsibility towards me as a mentor and i can't go chasing him that you know of course i do the work of usually trying to get in touch with him and all but it is not he's not obligated i hope you get what i mean when we say a mentor a mentor is it advises you and all but it's not obligated to hold your hand through the process however your accountability partner is actually someone you're working with so in my case I had my accountability partner even before I started my business because we were already friends. I never knew I was going to be in business. She had quit her job maybe about five or so years earlier and was doing business. And so it, that naturally, we just started talking about business. When I decided I wanted to quit my job, we talked about it. Um, she gave me pointers and guidelines and we talked, we had chats and of course, several times she actually spoke on my platform, which was really important to me as well. And what, what she has done over the years for me is that when I need help with brainstorming or when I'm stuck or something, she's someone I can bounce off ideas on. And the same thing she does for me, you know, the same thing I do, she does for me in terms of my goals. Um, she will get to know when we meet, actually, she will know that, okay, these are the things Amma wants to do. I remember one time I, I told him her that if she sees me speaking somewhere, she should ask me how much money I was making because I really needed to focus on making money and I was doing a lot of other things just because I enjoyed them, you know. So that's the kind of help I get from my accountability partner. And then I have my mastermind groups. So I'm in two, currently I'm in two mastermind groups. I used to be in one, but I'm not in anymore. I needed to be in one because I wanted to learn how to create digital products. Um, now that I'm done with that and I know what to do, I have left that group so that like I've moved on, I've graduated myself, okay? 
So my mastermind group is also an accountability group. Um, they know, they are aware of the goals that I want to achieve tomorrow. I have one meeting with one of the groups. They are aware of the things I want to achieve. And they are also like, they are not also, they are gurus in their own right. You know, the sort of um, ideas they share, they listen to the things I want to achieve. I listen to them. We pray for each other and all. So being in such a community has really helped me. Like I'm sharing this just so I can let you know that if I ever do anything, if you ever see me achieve anything and you think, oh, mama, you've done so well, just know that there is a strong village behind me. I, I'm, I'm literally surrounded by a village of strong women and men who are helping me make this happen. And I want to encourage you to do same. So I'm going to give six reasons why I think as an entrepreneur, you should get an accountability partner or at least an accountability group, a mastermind group. Look, you don't need to go calling them that name. Like I said, my first accountability, business related accountability partner was my friend or she's always been my friend. I didn't plan that she was going to be, but we just started talking about business. You know, we are both mothers and Christians and all, but we talk more about business because we are all interested and she's always teasing me that every time she brings something up, I'm asking, uh -huh, so how much money is that going to make? You know, like I really, really want to make money. Like, don't you want to make money? Don't you want to make money? Let me know in the comments. Do you not want to make money? I want to make money. I have a lot of goals that making money will help me achieve. So anyway, so here are the six things, six reasons why I believe we must all um, have accountability as men and women in business. Okay. First one, you get consistent feedback. Okay. You get consistent feedback. I'm in a group. Hi, Lady Ava. I know I do want to make money. I love that. I love that claim. Yes. So um, the first reason is you get consistent or real time feedback. Look, I don't know about you. When I started my business, I knew Jack about it, like nothing. She, she, Koto about business. I didn't know anything. Okay, maybe as a child, I had sold cocoa drink before, you know, and that was just it. But I didn't really know. I didn't know nothing about bookkeeping. I think that to be honest, for a long time, bookkeeping was my problem. For a long time, it was maybe just last year that I got it sorted. And I remember I used to ask a lot of questions about it. And so with a group or a person who you hold accountable and they hold you accountable, you go to them and ask, hey, I'm thinking of doing X. What do you think of it? This is the only place that you can feel free to ask such a question and know that you get a great response. You get a genuine response. I mean, of course, I'm hoping that your accountability group really cares about you. This is one place that you know you can get that kind of feedback. This is one place you can get that feedback. Sorry, I paused. Um, Gene, Gino Terra, you can't hear. Instagram is doing its trick on me again, but it's well, actually, it's not Instagram's fault. It's my. Okay, please, if you can kindly watch on Facebook, okay? So sorry. So sorry. Um, oh, technology. I'm not going to give up anyway. Johanna says, same here, but getting there gradually. Okay, thank you. So please, um, watch on... Um, I don't even think she can hear me. Oh, sorry. Anyway, let me just close Instagram so that I can focus on one that's working. Okay, what was I? Yes, yeah, so this is the only place that you can actually go asking, hey, I need help in this area. I'm, tr I'm trying to, and I've done that a lot. I mean, most of the events I ever created, I would ask my accountability partner first, hey, I'm thinking about bringing a group of women together over breakfast and we'll discuss X, Y, Z about business. What do you think? I would always do that. Even before I put it out in the public and say, hey, I'm thinking about this event. What do you think? Like I would always discuss this with my accountability partner, okay? So that is one reason. You need someone to be giving you real-time consistent feedback because you're in a group together or you're a team he or she gives you that kind of feedback and you also give it to them. The second reason is 
with accountability or with the accountability group, you are able to get somebody who will help you when you are stuck. Have you ever felt stuck in your business? Like, I kid you not, not it, it can be so like, you know, sometimes you're doing something, let's say you're creating a product, you already know how to create the product, but you just get stuck with one thing, you know? And the other option is, well, you can go and watch a thousand YouTube videos to finally get that one thing, or you can call your coach, or you can call a trainer or somebody. It's either you get paid, you pay or what, or not to, to get that kind of help. But it can be so frustrating to get stuck. So many times I've found myself in that wahala, and then I'll remember, oh, let me just ask my accountability partner, or let me ask my coach or something, you know, and I want to, um, there's this text in the Bible, Ecclesia says, okay, bear with me, before I totally crucify what the Lord said in Ecclesia, let me read it, bear with me, I'm pulling it up, Ecclesia chapter 4, verses 9 to 11, so I'll just read a bit of it, and I'll skip some parts, Two are better than one. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. This is so true, ladies and gentlemen, if there's a gentleman watching me. And I'm sure you know it's two heads. Definitely. You know, it's, it's always better to have two people or more than two deciding. And I mean, the thing is, at the end of the day, the box stops on you, you know, as they say, as a, you, you being the entrepreneur, you have to make the final decision. But it's so valuable to have a few other people, one or two people chipping in and helping you brainstorm, helping you come up with ideas before you make that decision. I'm reading the comments and you're making me laugh. Okay, so definitely when you have, and I have been stuck many times struggling with something and i'll call my lady and i'm like charlie this thing what do you think oh i'm trying to do like recently i was trying to make a hiring decision i was a bit i mean i knew the step to take but i i feel i just needed to talk to a group or someone so that i could you know be okay i don't even know why but i just needed to talk to someone have you felt like have you ever felt like that when you actually know the answer but you feel stuck and then you talk to someone and they help you with the why you know and I mean, currently, my current coach, who, who is so expensive, Charlie, like it's, she's like, ooh, but she's amazing. And I know the worth in her, right? She's helping me through things that I, I used to think, oh, I'm so over that. And then it comes up again. I'm like, oh, like, you know how I, I, I'm always saying, oh, low self-esteem. And I used to have low self-esteem. Well, newsflash. I'm still dealing with it. I feel like actually I deal with it every day, but I thought I had a strategy to help me deal with it and I'm okay. But newsflash, I still have a long way to go there. So these are some of the things that somebody can help you through. Troy, I'm doing a live, please. Sorry? You can do it, that's why. So sorry. So my son is here asking me why he has to do the dishes by himself. Try because we trust that you can do it, okay? So go do it. Make I us proud. I don't want to. Please, can we talk about this when I'm done? Thank you. It's as well. Okay, so where was I? Um, the third reason, you get like-minded people to brainstorm with. So your accountability group, when you meet, depending on the agenda, you can be talking, okay, so um, we want to, um, let's say I, I have a project I want to do, and then um, I'm, I, I'm not sure about it, how the processes will go. I can be the one on the hot seat. So in my groups, we have something called hot seat, where you bring your wahala, and then people help you with ideas. That is the place to go. It's either the mastermind group or if you can get a mentor to listen to you. But listen, people are so busy. If you have a coach, you just go to them and say, hey, this is what I'm thinking. Let's, let's brainstorm. That's why you pay a coach, right? These are the sort of things that you can, um, you can get your coach or your mastermind group or accountability partner to help you with.
Now, another thing that I love about being in a mastermind group or having an accountability partner or especially a coach is, oh my goodness, they put the fear of God into you. Like I remember um, one, one of our meetings a couple of weeks ago, just before the new year, I talked about the amount of money I wanted to make in the year, broke it down nicely. And then one of the ladies asked me, okay, so I like that you are very specific with your amount and all that how many of these products each do you have to sell to get that you know and i had done all my calculations except that and i didn't bring it to the meetings so i was fumbling and all you know so the thing about having someone is look they really first of all they punch holes and then in terms of putting the fear of god in you i remember one of my this was a male client i had <laughs> then one day we we're having the one-on-one -on -one meeting at fab hub and then he just screamed, hey, everybody must have a coach. And I was like, okay, I know that's true, but why did you scream? He said, Amma, the truth is sometimes I don't do what I am supposed to do. And then I come here, I, I, I mean, I remember that I have to come and meet you. And then suddenly the energy to even do what I need to do, it just comes. And you know, I, I understood him because this is something that happens to me as well. Like tomorrow I'm meeting with one of my master. Look, just talking about it, my heart was like, Psh. tomorrow I'm meeting one of the mastermind groups and like there are some things I need to get ready because I need to get there and I need to report. I need to tell them why I've made 10% of the revenue I need to, I want to make in January and not, you know, like I need to answer these. I need to be prepared. I can't now go and sit there and say, um, um, you know, like we don't joke in these groups and they put the fear of God. Yes. Well, Hermina, it's literally fear of God they put in you. I mean, I hope I didn't do that to you in the group, but, um, they make you sit up. You know, it's very easy for us to make excuses, make up reasons why, oh, I can't. And sometimes internal motivation is not there. I don't know if this has happened to you. Generally, I know myself that I'm a very, very motivated person. Like my goals motivate me, my why motivates me. But look, there are times I'm lying on the bed and I can't be bothered. Like I know I need to get up and do a face Facebook Live so I get results. I know the value Facebook Lives get me and Instagram Lives. But I'll just make an excuse. Oh, why? You know, you know, I'm tired or something. But if I know that at the end of the day, somebody is watching me and I'm going to give them reports, oh, nobody will tell you. The fear of God will wake you up from that bed. You get what I mean? So this is what I mean by your accountability group putting the fear of God literally in you so that you get up and go do what you got to do. Okay. I remember one of my, today I was sharing this earlier. I, I remember one of my clients who kept dilly dallying because she's shy and she didn't want to take, and this is someone who has paid me money to coach her. She was dilly dallying, making all sorts of excuses why she hadn't done the thing. I just said to her, you are not committed. You are not committed to this thing that you want to do. Oh, sister God, I'm upset. I knew she was upset, but I was like, you know, I'm not going to mind her. I know she will get the message. And yes, she did get the message. She actually did what she was supposed to do because she was upset with me. And then she told me, you know, I did it. And I was hurt that you said X, Y, Z. And I, I needed to say that. I needed to be harsh in quotes because I realized that she had everything it took. She was just not doing it. And sometimes you need that person, someone else to shake you. And for those of us who are married, sometimes it's our husbands who shake us. And sometimes we also shake them, you know, to get them out of their comfort zone, doing what they gotta do. Glory says, we need a coach, mentors. I absolutely agree. Um, about Penny says, I have someone doing it freely. Really. Hmm, can I guess who that is? <laughs> okay, so definitely you want someone putting the fear of God into you because when it's time for that meeting, you can't go and sit there and say, um, um, imagine a coach that you are really in tree who say, oh, no. um, how do you say it? You are like not shy of, but you respect and you want to look good in their eyes and then you go and do ena ena. Nah, nah, that's not going to work, okay? And then my fifth reason that I love being in a mastermind group or I love having an accountability partner and I feel you should also have one if you don't have, 
is that it's um, it's full of supporting supportive people who refer you. Like they refer you in the most amazing way. So last year, one of the coaching sessions I did, not the group coaching for startup, I had another group called the sales strategy group. I didn't realize it, eh? but at the end of the year, when we were, you know, everybody saying thank you for helping me to, you know, in the group generally, people kept talking about how they were patronizing each other's product and they were referring businesses. I was so surprised. All this happened and I didn't even know that they were connecting each other to business and all. And this is the kind of group you want to be in if you're a woman in business. You want to be in a group that supports you, that is referring you. Like the minute somebody needs someone, you are looking in your circles. You are looking in your circles to find them that kind of person rather than saying, oh, I don't know. Even if you don't know, you are finding out, hey, who is this person here? You know, are you in those kind of groups that... People are always asking, maybe I need a plumber. Is there anyone here who is like that? Or I need a, you know, I need a trainer for X, Y, Z. And people are mentioning your name, even in your absence. You are not there, but you are being referred. And to God's glory, I have had so many of such references from places I do not even know my name has landed there. And that's what happens if you are in a community of people who support you. They are mentioning your name. They're saying, oh, I know someone. Let me just find that person for you. That's when you know you are in the right community. And I pray to God that everyone watching here, everyone who is listening to this, will find somebody who is really, really supporting you, rooting for you, not just all, only cheering for you, but also putting the fear of God into you when you need that and then the final reason, in my groups, in all the accountability groups that I have been in so far, I've had, so far, I've had three masterminds and then I've had a few one-on-one -on -one coaches, coaching and all. They've all been fabulous children of God. We pray for each other. We check in on each other. We know each other's goals. So we can ask, you know, we can ask, okay, so I'm a, how far away that X thousand dollars that you said you are going to make, you know, people who know what it is that you are aiming for. They know what's on my vision board. I know what's on theirs. We pray for each other. I mean, that is so beautiful to be able to pray for other people, like community kind of prayer is way more powerful. It goes faster. <laughs> it gets to heaven faster. And God is like, gee, my girls are serious. I need to listen to them. Okay, I'm not saying that if you pray alone, it doesn't go, please, it, it does. But I do hope you get me the, the six reasons that I've given. Shekinah, definitely, if you are not in one already, Definitely form one. Definitely form one. Thank you, Lady Abba Hagen, for your blessings. I receive it in Jesus' name. Okay, so now speaking of mastermind groups, speaking of accountability partner, um, recently in one of our, uh, I, I had a content creation online workshop last Saturday, which was so beautiful. There, was, there were two gentlemen in it, one from India, one Ghanaian. And the one Ghanaian told me that, you know, he really desires to write. He has a lot of content he feels will be a blessing onto people, especially people in business. But then, even though he has this strong desire, he, he's not able to sit and write, you know. And he talked about how the whole of 2020, he was only able to write um one article, you know, and he wasn't happy with himself, but he doesn't know how to push him. So we discussed a few things. One of the things, of course, that I mentioned was the Stephen Pressfield book I talked about. But I also mentioned to him about accountability. For me, that's that's really the thing that works, you know, accountability. Because I have people who hold me accountable, even when I don't feel like doing it, they are there and they're like, Amma, why are you asleep? Or Amma, why are you telling stories? You know, like, oh, fairy, you, you don't even want to go and say such stories. You want to be really serious so that they see you as a serious person. Like, imagine that every day I'm coming here, I'm being mind your business, and I'm, I'm like, and you see me as this confident chick, and I have it all going, and I'm somewhere losing guard. You know, it doesn't even fit me. And so accountability, like, it works like magic. And honestly, like, we need accountability everywhere in our government, in our leadership, in our lives, in our homes, 
every single place accountability now speaking the word accountability reminds me of papa j i think that as a child he was the first person i heard say that word remember for those of you in ghana unity probity accountability was there an ad or something like that anyway i digress so speaking of which i have created a coaching for startups which i do specifically for new women in business i help you to plan execute and achieve your business goals so all these things i've talked about that accountability partners do and for which reason you should have one i'll do them for you i will give you real-time feedback during our coaching sessions we'll have two one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions and six group sessions I'll give you live feedback on the things that you need feedback on. I will help you get unstuck. For many of the people I work with, before we even get the work done in the group, we have to get you unstuck. And that's my ministry. <laughs> I am ministry of getting unstuck. I will help you. The same way I also get other people to help me get unstuck, I do same for other women. And I'll be more than happy to help you. I also help you brainstorm. Some of the women I've had the privilege of working, Charlie, like some of these women, like, like, you know what I mean? Like big time leaders, heading big corporations and all. I remember one of them, for instance, a very important person um, in Ghana. And she, she didn't know what she wanted to do after she went on pension, you know? Um, she, due to the kind of person she was and she was all into work 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 like her full-time job and then um her ministry as in her god-given ministry but after pension what next this was her worry and so i asked her questions i probed i asked questions 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 and in the end she was able to settle on what she wanted to do you know it was amazing and it really is true how we are so blessed with many gifts, but sometimes we don't know until someone else tells us or helps us or iterates what we should know already. For this woman, she was just amazing. Like, I know we should all write a book, right? This woman should so write a book because of the kind of experiences and what she knows and the blessing her story will be unto others. But she wasn't sure. And so I didn't perform any magic. I would just ask questions over and over and over again. And as I'm asking, I'm praying, I'm asking God for direction. Because sometimes some of the things that come here, like, God, this one, if you don't give me wisdom, I don't know how I'm going to deal with it. So definitely, I'm going to help you brainstorm. And then, like I said, um, in our group coaching for startups, okay, I won't put the fear of God in you. I see Ruby and a few other people who have been in. Did I, did I put the fear of God in you? <laughs> I'm sure I was nice. Someone said, I'm nice but firm. I like that. I mean, when I need to be firm, I will be. But um, I, I, I am, I'll do the best I can for you. I am committed to seeing you achieve your goals. So basically, if you are committed, you and I will gel very, very well. And then also look the community of women those of you who are in the group you see the kind of women they are like they love supporting each other like people just want to see each other grow you know what i mean we meet and we are discussing business and how to progress and how to get more customers like we are so we are minding our businesses ladies we are minding our businesses can someone put that in the comments for me please we are minding our businesses because you know what we have families, we have responsibilities. Some of us, some of you, well, are single mothers or single parents. Some of you are taking care of family, you know, um, how do you call them? The elderly people in your home, paying school fees or not. Charlie, we don't have time to sit and joke. We gotta make the Benjamins, you know what I'm saying? make those benjamins and so that's what we talk about and how to progress and then of course if you have any issue that is stopping you from moving we talk about that too and then yeah we are just a group of community rooting and praying for each other hi so today i see a lot of my clients joining thank you lady i hope you're well so um there's a lot of rooting for each other, praying, referring each other in the group coaching for startup. Basically, we as a team led by Amma Duncan, the chief servant, will help you start, um, to plan, execute, and achieve your business goals. So I've had three cohorts so far of 30 women 
and I've opened the next one, which is um, God willing. I'm starting on, um, when is it starting? 21st September, not September, 21st, which month are we? January, January, starting 21st January, um, and it's online. So there are usually two days. There's Thursdays and there is um, Saturdays at 6 p.m. GMT. Hi, Kelly. Kelly, please um, check your inbox. I have, no, no, your email. I've sent you an email, please. It's good, I just remembered. Please check and then respond. I really need your feedback. So yeah, but thank you for that comment. So it starts on 21st. We are meeting either Thursday evenings at 6 p.m. GMT or um, Saturdays at 6 p.m. GMT. We can be flexible with the Saturday time. So if you think that the 6 is not good for you, depending on majority, you know, as they say, majority carries the boat, not the vote. <laughs> so um, we can be flexible with a Saturday. But of course, if you miss Thursdays and you're supposed to join Thursdays, you miss it, you can also join the Saturday group. It's a great community of fabulous women from around the world. We've had people in the US, in Europe, in Ghana, you know, Boise, different, I mean, wherever. As long as you have internet and you can, you are watching me now and you are listening to me, you and I, we can get this do, go in here. Yeah? So I've just shared the link into the comments. Um, that's the link for group coaching for startups. If you're watching me and you feel that this is something that interests you, please go on and then click on the link. Um, also scrolling is my colleague's number. My colleague's name is Seth. You can send him a, um, a message, a WhatsApp message, or you can call to find out more information. Plus 233-246-252330. Okay, so the fee is $150. If you're paying in Ghana, it's or if you're paying in Ghana cities, it's 900 Ghana cities. But in dollars, it's $150. You pay a deposit at least of 60% by 19th January. Now, let me just explain what happens after you've paid. I have one minute left. When, after you pay, uh, you do the first stage, that is the pre-discovery call assignment, and then you talk about what it is you want to achieve. You watch a video and then write down what it is you want to achieve. I'll ask you a few questions about your business. Then we have the first one-on-one -on -one coaching session. You and I alone, we will talk to clarify the exact goals that you want to achieve in the six weeks. Before we do, we start the six-week group coaching sessions. As we are doing the group coaching sessions, we will always record the sessions and I'll share with you. So if for whatever reason you even miss one meeting, I pray you don't miss a lot, but if you miss it, at least you can catch up. And it's not a training session, it's a coaching session. So we focus on your needs and we talk about that. Everybody comes in with a different need. At the beginning of your business, your everybody has their own needs. So based on your needs, if there is any training necessary, I will send you the training on a separate platform. You either watch a video or I can meet with you one-on-one -on -one to do that. That one is not a problem. But just know that it's a coaching session. Ladies, there is one thing I require from the people who sign up. Please, please, please. I require commitment. Like you need to be fully committed to this. It can be so tiring that somebody pays you money and then you have to chase them to do what they say they will do. You know, like in 2021, we won't do that, right? So please, please, please. Um, if you really are considering this, if you feel that you need somebody to help you, to hold you accountable, to help you, um, you know, achieve your business goals, this is business coaching, please. If it's on mindset or any other thing, I can refer you to other coaches. I focus on business coaching. Like, I'm not the kind of girl that you can come and cry and then, like, I'll probably just stare at you. I won't laugh. I will feel for you, but I'll probably not. I'm not trained to handle that kind of emotion and all those things. Like, I just want to talk, hey, where the money at? Where the money at? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if this is you, if there's something that interests you, you are aspiring to be a coach or, a, sorry, not a coach. Yeah, some of the people I work with are coaches though. But if you're aspiring to be a business woman or you have a business and you are confused as to starting, how to start it. Yesterday, somebody sent me 
oh god she she's just confused about a lot of things these are the sort of things i will help you with one of my coaching clients said ama the group coaching start group coaching for startups is your calling please continue to do it to god be the glory to think that i was doing this one-on-one -on -one and never thought about doing it for group I still do one-on-one. -on -one. Some people still want to be private and that's also fine with me. So just reach out. I've sent the link. Please um, check it out if this is something that interests you, okay? My time is up. And so today we've talked about why I believe you need an accountability partner. The six things I mentioned is that they give you real-time consistent feedback. Um, this is also a person or a group that helps you get unstuck. Do you get like-minded people to brainstorm with you get people who put the fear of the lord in you and then you get supportive people referring you to business and other things other gigs like that and you also get people rooting for you and praying for you and i really pray that we all everybody listening to me may god help us find the right accountability group to be in and if you feel that you want me to help you, you need me to help you, like this evening's call that I had all the way from UK, I will be more than happy to help you. Remember, you gotta be committed though. Those of you who were watching on Instagram at first, I apologize. This technology is, um, I am getting the hang of it. I'm learning it, I'll get better, I promise. So thank you all for watching. Same time, God willing, next week, I will come your way. Once again, my name is Amma Duncan. I am a corporate trainer, business coach, and founder of the Fabulous Woman Network. Bye. Thank you for watching. Mwah.